It's true. You can't speak butterfly language to a caterpillar mind or caterpillar people. It just doesn't land. So sometimes when we go through things and our energy is shifted or we take something else on in our lives that's really created a new being, you, you've, you've, you've experienced something like a, a plant medicine experience and you come back and you try to explain what you've experienced, it's not gonna land because you can't speak butterfly language to caterpillar people. And there's no problem there. You stay out of the judgment of it and you just accept it as true, then you just go about your business and look for other butterflies. And yes, you can share with people who are caterpillar people. You can share with people who are caterpillar minds, but you can't expect caterpillar people to understand butterfly language. It just doesn't work like that. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's an energetic thing. Like attracts like, and as Tesla said, if you wanna know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of frequency, vibration, energy, resonance. What is your resonance? And if you have a butterfly resonance and there's people out there who are caterpillar people, don't expect them to, to know what you're talking about. It's just not gonna work in the same way. And there's nothing wrong with that, see? There's nothing wrong with it because caterpillar people are speaking their language and you may not understand that either. You may not understand uh, violence. You may not understand vengeance, right? It might be that our ancestors somewhere down the line are gonna look back upon us right now and just think of us as savages. Just, just people who are out here trying to take from one another on a global scale, maybe not you, but on a global scale with war and greed. Yeah, it might be just a small percentage, but they look back upon a small percentage and ask, why didn't the majority of the people act? Why didn't the majority of the people stand up and say something, do something? Why didn't they go out and spread out to the rest of the butterflies? Why didn't they go out and spread their energetic and energy out to the rest of the butterfly people? Right. And that's down the line. But what we can do right now is speak butterfly to butterfly people. Don't expect caterpillar people to understand what you're talking about. They don't have to. And there's no judgment against caterpillar people, just as we don't want any judgment from caterpillar people on butterfly people, no matter where you are on the on on that ledger. Right. So. When we look at what we're doing, all we want to concentrate on is how are we flapping our butterfly wings? Are we doing what is necessary? Hey, Stephanie, are we doing what is necessary in our lives, in our surrounding community, and sending out energy, vibration, frequency, resonance that's in alignment with what we're up to creating? This is how everything shifts and changes and transforms in your life and in everyone's life around you. So again, butterfly. Language cannot be understood by caterpillar people, and there's nothing wrong with that. You move forward, speaking that beautiful butterfly language that you have, staying out of judgment of caterpillar people, and going forward and spreading that beautiful love and light and aloha that is you. That being said, sending so much of that out to you wherever you are. Have a beautiful rest of your day.